Hello, I'm Jennifer Seidman, a staff attorney in the Housing Unit at the Legal Aid Society. I'm here to talk about how you can preserve affordable housing in New York City for generations of your family through succession rights. Succession rights for rent-regulated apartments in New York City allow people who have been living in an apartment to become the leaseholder, also known as the tenant of record. People can claim succession rights when the tenant of record dies or permanently leaves the apartment, thereby surrendering their rights as a tenant. So, what does it mean for an apartment to be rent regulated? There are two categories of rent regulated apartments in New York City, rent controlled and rent stabilized. Rent controlled apartments are in buildings built before February 1st, 1947, or an apartment where the tenant has lived there continuously since before July 1st, 1971. Rent stabilized apartments are in buildings built between February 1st, 1947 and January 1st, 1974, and also have more than six units. Some buildings who receive tax abatements are also rent stabilized. To find out if your building is rent stabilized, you can search online at the New York State Homes and Community Renewal website. The address is shown on screen below. You can also contact your local Homes and Community Renewal borough office directly to find out. Succession rates in New York City rent regulated apartments apply to some family members. If you are one of the following family members, you can seek to claim succession rights under New York law. If you are the spouse, child, stepchild, parent, stepparent, sibling, grandparent, grandchild, parent-in-law, or child-in-law, you can seek to claim succession rights under New York law. You may also qualify for succession rights if you had a family-like relationship with the tenant of record. The following factors help determine if you have a family-like relationship. For instance, if you knew the tenant of record for a long time and shared household expenses or financial accounts, your relationship may qualify as family-like and allow you to seek succession rights. In order to claim succession rights as a tenant, you will need to show that you lived with the tenant of record for at least two years before the tenant died or left the apartment, or if you are a senior or disabled, one year before the tenant died or left the apartment. You will also need to produce evidence of the family or family-like relationship that existed between you and the tenant of record. Some documents that are good in establishing your succession rights include government IDs, bank or credit card statements, or phone and utility bills. You begin the process of claiming succession rights when the tenant of record dies or leaves the apartment, or when the lease is first renewed after their death or departure. However, you will only receive a lease in your name once the prior lease has expired. You should send a certified letter or email to the landlord explaining what happened and that you are entitled to become the new tenant of record. If the tenant of record has died, you should include a copy of the death certificate. If they have moved out, have them write a letter stating that they have left the apartment. If your landlord refuses to recognize your succession rights, they might start an eviction case against you. You can raise your succession rights in the court case and show the judge the relevant documents and evidence we discussed earlier in this video. The judge will then make a decision on your succession rights claim. You can also file a request for administrative determination with HCR's Division of Housing and Community Renewal. Their decision is the same as a judge's order. If you have a court case, a judge may determine your rights before DHCR, but it depends on the timing of each case. Staying in your family home after a loved one passes or moves out should be an option for all of us. If you live in a rent-regulated building, the law does provide you with an option to take over the tenancy. Knowing how to navigate this process will be instrumental in making sure the transition goes smoothly and you avoid losing your home. For more information, please visit the Homes and Community Renewals website at hcr.ny.gov slash succession and visit our website at legalaidnyc.org to get more information.